Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about gerunds. Gerunds are actually nouns. To form a gerund, we need to add ing to the verb, to an infinity verb, like play. We add ing to it, it becomes playing. Do, you add ing to it, it becomes doing. There are four rules of adding ing to verbs. We will talk about them one by one. And there are three uses of gerunds. We will talk about how to use gerunds. There are three ways of how to use them. Let's start with the four rules of how to add ing to the verbs. Number one. For most of the verb, you just add ing to it. For example, do, you add ing, it becomes doing. Play, you add ing, it becomes playing. Listen, plus ing, listening. Wait, plus ing, waiting. Rule number two. If the infinitive ends in a single short vowel, vowel means a e i o u. Short vowels are a e i o a, like that. If you have a single short vowel, just one, and a single consonant, just one consonant, consonants are not a e i o u. So like B, C, D, F, or G. If it's the case, you double the consonant before adding ing. Let's look at the examples. Look at run. The U is a short U, a uh, sound. So you need to double N. Plus ing, it becomes running with two N. Chop. The O is a short O, O sound, so you need to add an extra P to it. And then you add ING, it becomes chopping with two P's. Swim. The I is a short I sound, I. So you double the M plus ING becomes swimming with two M. Get. This is a short e, e sound. So you need to add an extra t and then add ing. It becomes getting with two t's. How about the word feel? In this word, you have two vowels, e, e. It's not a single short vowel, so you don't have to double l. Just add ing, it becomes feeling. Brick, you have two vowels as well, ea. It's not a single short vowel, so you don't have to double the k. Just add ing, it becomes bricking. In this word, play. The vowel a is a long vowel. A, play, is not a short vowel. And we don't double Y in English. So you don't have to add an extra Y to play. Just add ING. It becomes playing with just one Y. In this word, so. E is a short vowel, but we don't double W. So you don't have to add an extra W to it. You just have to add ing, it becomes sewing. The last one, mix. The i is a short i, but we never double x in English, unless you are speaking bad languages. So you don't have to add an extra x to it. Just add ing, it becomes mixing with just one x. Rule number three. If the infinitive ends in a vowel and a consonant plus an e, 
In other words, if you see e at the end of the verb, you just take away the e and then add ing. For example, half. You see e at the end. Just take away the e. Add ing. It becomes having. Dance. Take away e, plus ing. Dancing with no e. Smile. Take away e, plus ing. Smiling with no e. Ride. Take away the e. Add ing. Becomes riding with no e. Use. Remove the e, plus ing, it becomes using. Leave. You also have e at the end, so you remove e, plus ing, it becomes leaving, with no e. Rule number four: If a verb ends in ie, you change the ie into y before adding ing. For example. Tie, you see I E at the end. You take away I E, at Y, at I N G, it becomes tying. Lie, take away I E, plus Y, plus I N G, lying. Die, you also see I E at the end, so you take it away, plus Y, plus I N G, it becomes dying. Now let's talk about how to use gerunds. There are three uses. Rule number one: We can use gerunds as the subject of a sentence. Example sentence one: Playing basketball is fun. Playing basketball is the subject of this sentence, so you need to add ing to the verb play. It becomes a noun. Playing basketball is a noun phrase. Is is the verb. Fun is what we call complement. A complement is used to add more information to tell us more about the subject of this sentence. Playing basketball. Example sentence two. Swimming is my favorite activity. Swimming is the subject of this sentence, so we need to add ing to this verb swim. But remember to double the m for this gerund. It becomes a noun. Is is the verb. My favorite activity is a complement. It tells us more about swimming. So swimming is my favorite activity. We know this information now. Number two, we can also use gerunds after a preposition, like in, on, at, of, by, for, etc. Example sentence one: Kevin is interested in playing basketball. Interested in means 有兴趣，对于一啲嘢有兴趣。In is a preposition, so we have to add ing to the verb play. It becomes gerund. It becomes a noun. So Kevin is interested in an activity. It is playing basketball. Example sentence two: Cyrus is good at singing. Good at means 擅长于，好叻嘅啲嘢。At is a preposition. So we have to add ing to the verb sing. It becomes a gerund. It becomes a noun. So Cyrus is good at doing something. He is good at singing. In this case. Number three, we use gerunds after certain verbs. Example sentence one. Avery enjoys having English lessons. So the boy standing at the front of the classroom is Avery. He loves English lessons. He likes it. He enjoys having English lessons. So after the verb 
enjoy, you have to add ing to it. It becomes a gerund, having. Example sentence two. Tommy finished doing his homework. Tommy has done his homework. He's finished it already. After the verb finish, we have to add ing to it. It becomes a gerund, doing. Example sentence three. Daisy practices dancing after school. Practice. After this verb, we also have to add ing to it. We also have to use gerund, dancing. Remember, when you learn about verb plus two infinitives, you have to memorize some verbs. After these verbs, you need to use two infinitive. So it's the same in gerund. You also have to memorize some main verbs. After these verbs, you have to use gerund. The ing form of the verb, like, dislike, love, hate, admit, finish, mind, keep, stop, enjoy, consider, avoid, miss, practice, mention. Imagine, recommend, suggest. So make sure you memorize these verbs. After them, you have to use gerunds. Summary: There are four rules of adding ing to verbs. Number one, just add ing to it. Example: doing and playing. Number two, you have to double the consonant at the end of the verb. Before you add ing, example, swimming, you add an extra m to it. Running, extra n, you double the n to this word. Number three, you take away e, you remove e at the end of the verb plus ing, like dancing and having, with no e in it. Number four, you take away ie. Plus y plus ing, like tying, and lying. And there are three uses of gerunds. Number one, you can use it as the subject of a sentence. Like in this sentence, playing basketball is fun. Playing basketball is the subject of this sentence, so you have to add ing to it. Number two. You use it after a preposition, as in this example. Cyrus is good at singing. At is a preposition, so you have to add ing to the verb sing to make it gerund singing. Number three. You have to use gerunds after certain verbs, like enjoy. Avery enjoys having English lessons. After the verb enjoy, you have to use gerund, ing form, having. This is the end of this video. Bye bye.